Hey everybody, it's Bobo the Vulture, and it's time for some more Let's Play Liberal Crime Squad. Um, I may get interrupted briefly. Well, you know, it's too bad, because it was a non-profit with a really noble goal. Um, those nerds that uh, we were talking about uh, in unseen or unheard action for you YouTubers, you'll just have to uh, either hope that I... Uh, saved a clip uh, a highlight on uh, Twitch and you can go back and find it or you're just gonna have to tune into Twitch from here on out anyway what to signify a few lives lost in a century or two the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants it is its natural manure Thomas Jefferson a politician and farmer so, uh, knew a little bit about manure, yeah, theoretically. I have uh, spent uh, more than one occasion uh, touring his home in Monticello. He lived in that town for a number of years. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and uh, move forward. We will... Uh, open up the violence tempered save file over at user was banned for this post yeah that's what's gonna happen well I mean come on Maxwell it's not like uh, it's not like the post is going to contain a lot of your music which will then be flagged as uh, copyright of somebody else even though you were the one that was doing it so Last time, Irene, Ruth Ann, and Brian, the uh, the elite of, uh, well, not the most elite, because I think we left, um, well, let's, let's, let's take a quick look at the act of liberals. Yeah, we left Lori Delaney behind to uh, sort of train up everybody. Valerie Boyd is teaching everyone seduction. Roland Allershaw is trying to teach people how to uh, how to get more better at um, rifles. How well is he doing at that? What is everyone's rifle skill now? Three tenths. Ruth Ann has some because she is a combat veteran. Valerie Boyd, the prostitute punk, but she's got some, uh, she's got some seduction, so, yeah, it looks like everybody has actually reached the level of seduction they can learn from her, Valerie Boyd, the punk. So, if she is teaching covert ops, I need to figure out why. Got a cool project going on tomorrow, and another recording came out, and another CD next month. That is a busy year. That's such great news. I'm going to attempt to adjust this window so that, yeah, I can get two lines of dialogue in here. How about that? That's nice, Maxwell. I'm glad to hear you're bouncing back. Man. That gives me some inspiration. Because I've been sitting around pounding the pavement trying to figure out what the hell to do for months at this point. Um basically started back at square one after the whole situation I was talking about pre-stream but uh, I got my lead going we'll see what it is how it goes uh, Valerie okay so first of all let's go into activate liberals Valerie Boyd she's teaching infiltration computer security stealth disguise tailoring seduction psychology driving she doesn't really have any business teaching any of that stuff I mean, I guess she's teaching some security to the brand new folks, but she's with an agility of one. There's nothing really we could have for her to learn right now either. What do you teach in music and art? Well, okay. I mean, she could learn how to do music and art and teach people that, but uh, 
not a whole lot behind that. I gotta figure out something to do with Valerie Boyd, the crazy punk. You have a heart of eight. What things could you possibly do at a level of eight? Basically, art and music. That's it. What could we get your writing to? It could be as high as six. Considering right now nobody is writing for the Liberal Guardian, Valerie, you should probably start writing for the Liberal Guardian. Engaging in liberal activism, writing for the Liberal Guardian. Larissa Montana is also doing that. Larissa Montana, what do you got to do? It's taking a long time to get there, but music has gone from a money sink to a hobby that pays for itself to an actual secondary income. You're not even the best in town at what you do. I'm in a better position to do similar things. It's possible. You know, honestly, like, I... If there were a way to make any money in... Uh, entertainment I realize that like what you're talking about music uh, that is a way to make money in entertainment but uh, without the the musical aspect of it I I know how to read music uh, not a great sight reader um, and I've really gotten very rusty on my primary instrument which was trombone make your own humor uh, probably voice would be better anyways but Mm. And I know, unfortunately, improv is one of those things that, like, I do it, and it's fun. I haven't actually been able to this year, but it's something that, let me see, I was going to review the assets and look at what Larissa Montana could figure out to do. Hmm. There you go. He's got a heart of 10, an agility of 5, an intelligence of 6. Right, so we were getting her writing so that she would probably get, you know, some writing skill up. Do you have any other secret skills? No, not really. Well, geez, I guess other than learning some kind of, like, learning art or music, which I don't have a huge need for, I don't know that there's very much that I'd have her do. And Roland Olershaw, are you the one with the highest rival skill in the land? are okay good then so these three going out doing their little sort of tiny thing is actually not that bad I realize that now there's like a, a tiny little crawl of your previous uh, chat in this window and oh now it's already gone just touching the screen did it Now then, let me actually look at what I got out of the whole um, invading the... Well, actually, here's something else I was kind of uh, interested in doing. Let's see. Um, I guess they should all be in the same car.
All things are fleeting. But no, improv is such a uh, such a thing that people are willing to do for free. Um, it's yeah, the text the text just hops past. It's unfortunate. <clears throat> okay, equipment. We've got various guns, body armors, body armors. Got AR-15s and M16s and such. Got AM radio memos. I now have some secret documents. Well, I'm, enough people are willing to do podcasts for nothing that that's uh, not uh, a super viable avenue either. The James Army Base now has high security, so can't go in there anymore. What if we went to the corporate HQ and equipped these guys with some let's see Irene Ruth Ann takes cheap dresses Brian getting that cheap suit Yeah, Lethal, that's not that's why we're not doing a celebratory stream. Turns out they're dicks. They literally uh gave me a job offer and then rescinded it. But uh let's wait a day now that we have these guys going to the corporate HQ. Yeah, it's not the greatest uh, situation, but uh, we persevere. We act natural. Hey, ODW. Everybody's just suddenly showing up. Did you guys all just come here because I got a, a sweet retweet? I mean, I haven't been going that long, so it's also just possible that people are starting to uh, notice. And the funny thing is, like, I was also thinking, eh, you know, I could always just blow up their spot using, like, Glassdoor or something like that, because you can review companies uh, via interviews and things like that. But, uh, if, you know, like... If it's a company of like 10 people, you have to imagine that they're going to remember Twitch notifications. My Twitter's not uh, blowing up for people. That's unfortunate. Let's open this safe. Brian Simpson has cracked the safe. Now they get concerned about out here, everybody. We're just walking around. Grabbing some tabs. Alright, that's nice of you, Lethal. I'm never going to get this uh, text uh, window to uh, do just the right amount of stuff. If I were going to be real anal about it, I would just put a uh, black bar or something uh, somewhere around there so that it would always... It wouldn't show the uh, little, like, bits and pieces. It wouldn't show cut off previous lines. Kind of think of it. Okay, you all have you all have high stealth skills, not necessarily as high as is humanly possible for all of you. 
because I guess stealth is based on agility. All right, le lethal, lethal liberals. Let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, we've done everything we can. Let's get out. Hagar Bailey's made a first-rate police uniform. Camille Keitel wants to learn more. You have good agility and reasonable charisma. Not a high intelligence, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's invest in you. Your views are insightful. John Richardson is ready to fight for the liberal cause. I feel like we've been stringing him along. LCS hits Corp, St. Paul, Minnesota, also El Monte, California, the home of the tilde. Let's see, how many, um, how many police, oh, we have seven police uniforms now. Okay, so let's stop Hagar from doing that. Let's have him repair clothing. Now then, let's review. Hagar, can I... No. Do I have to do it from activate? Hagar Bailey. Equip this liberal. Yeah, here we go. Let's put you in some damaged body armor and see if you can repair it. And let's equip the squad in ninja costumes. And go forth to, I don't know, go to Plastic Factory. When was the last time we were at the Plastic Factory? Got a long way to walk back if uh, anything happens, huh? Finally find, found our way all the way back around. The squad is starting to smell panic. You guys all have a juice of 250, right? Yeah, and you're capped out at that because I'm guessing... I don't do anything anymore. You guys need... You guys need bigger kicks. 
Let's not destroy the equipment in front of people. Let's grab some chemicals, break some equipment, because that is what ninjas do. It is part of the Bushido code to break industrial equipment when you find it. I mean, that's what I avoid. I keep forgetting that sometimes these things, uh, when you uh, destroy them, have treasure inside. They're like kinder eggs. You know, forget all about this, uh, you know, adoption of Western technology that... Uh, happened during the Warring States period in Japan. These ninjas, they are all about destroying industrial equipment. I realize nobody is getting points from this, but uh, by destroying industrial equipment we are we are making, a, we're not getting juice from this, but uh, we're still making a point. He's working to repair his body armor. That's good. Camille Keitel feels something needs to be done. Great. Spent fifty dollars on props and a book. Keep the book. Sean is ready to fight for the liberal cause. I'm glad. You know what I have not done lately is uh Yeah, has looked at McCain fried chicken and seen whether or not uh Yeah, we need to invest in this location. First of all, let's ring the compound with tank traps. And then let's uh stockpile the place with uh some food. 20 days worth of food. That's plenty of food for right now. Now that relying on stealth alone, how far can we get with this group? That's what I'd like to know. The police station is high security right now, so maybe not try and go in there. We haven't been to the AM radio station in a while. Why don't we go in there? First encounter didn't go super well. There we go. Back to fading into the shadows. That's what I like to see. Oh no! We've alienated the masses. Shoot. Sneak our asses out of here. We can sneak past conservatives now because we're so dang sneaky. Still working to repair that body armor, huh? Camille Keitel is ready to fight for the liberal cause. Well, why don't you get on in here, Camille? 
Ruthann offers to let Camille join the Liberal Crime Squad. She's got street sense, throwing, art, and music. Come to a cane fried chicken. John, you keep talking to us. Now then, let's take a look at our brand new member here, who is laying low. Obviously, you have great potential. Um, you don't really know anything that we need to teach anybody else right now. You could teach people some street sense, but uh, not a whole lot of purpose in it. You have an intelligence of four. You could write for the Liberal Guardian. Or we could just try and boost your... Have a charisma of six. Mm -hmm. Not the most charismatic person, and yet. All right, how is your dodge going, by the way, Alona? You have a dodge of almost five. Not quite. Camille? Thinking about having Camille... She has a low charisma stat. But I was thinking about having her go learn how to be seductive. Strong, though. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. activate you Camille I mean I could just have her go out and do legal fundraising that would raise her persuasion skill well, what could I have you learn You could learn how to teach. Fencing, weaving, religion, baseball. Is there a blunt object skill that is separate from a like knife skill? You can just study stealth. It is stealth. Yeah, learn buying drinks. Why not? You okay, so see here's the thing, guys. Like Irene McLeod has a maximum stealth of seventeen. She should in theory be able to just like use predator armor, you know, like predator stealth camo. Or not even have to use it, I should say, just walk around and essentially give the impression of predator stealth camo. Well, she has a max. I mean, right now she's at 50, which is still darn good. 
police station is at high security. The AM radio station is not, even though we were just there messing up. What would happen if we went to the Snow Gentleman's Club? Like, because we have guns, it would be a problem. I'm pretty sure they have a metal detector outside. Let's go to the cable news station. We haven't been there. Not a lot of locked doors inside the uh, cable news station, is there? Or are there? Fading into the shadows. You know, I guess I've never worked in cable news. I've certainly worked in the news business before. Uh, I mean, we had a little, like, recording studio for stuff. Made it. How are things there? Hang on a moment, folks. I have to respond to Bean. She just made it where she was going. Um, okay. Streaming. Bronco. Bronco wasn't easy going to sleep. Names are changed. Protect the innocent. He got there by, I want to say, 7 7 45. Yeah. But, um, in my time working in the news business, uh, never saw any ninjas. Now then, let's take a look at our persuasion skills. Our persuasion skills are pretty well trash. We do not have great persuasion skills. Although I feel like if uh, you're watching cable news and a bunch of ninjas just ran onto the stage or ran into the studio and sat down, you would listen to what they were saying. I mean, as best you could. The mask might get in the way. They'd be like, <laughs> So, in that sense, maybe you would try to listen to the ninja and it just wouldn't work out. Unless it was like reverse ninja mask, where like the eyes are covered up and the face is out, so it's like Ninja Robocop. <laughs> That would be awesome. All right, so we're fading into the shadows because we're freaking ninjas. Bean texted back. I love you. Rest well. Zimmerman homered on his first at bat. think the game is on Fox if you're looking. There we go.
Look guys, I know it looks like we're fading into the shadows an awful lot, but uh, that's just the way things go. You have to be aware that we can always hide in the shadows. Okay, gotta grab snack first. Yeah, wouldn't have been a bad idea. I got my uh, supper a little after she did, of course, because I had to make sure the baby Bronco was uh, ready for sleeping first. Anyhow. Hacker Bailey, still working to repair that army body armor? You're still ready to fight for the liberal cause? Just out of curiosity, I want to see how much one day of buying drinks has affected your seduction. Two tenths? That's that's moderate. Could get room service here. Ha ha. Heck, order a pizza even. Wait, it's ten. That's a lot. <laughs> okay. How much is Alona getting out of her dodge? Four and a half. It's going to be a slow process, and then unfortunately she's going to have to teach that to everybody else. No fridge either. Well, Bina staying at a new uh, hotel. By the way, Bean has to periodically, and coincidentally this is often when you will see me doing these Liberal Crime Squad uh, streams, uh, Bean has to every so often still return to our old home stomping grounds in the DC area um, to attend uh, work functions. She has to stay overnight uh, sometimes or a couple days. Uh, this time it's just one day uh, still. Really dumb and annoying. Alright, now go forth to stop evil. See, the cable news station didn't even know anything bad's happening. I really should do something that uh, people will notice. We have high secrecy and no heat. I guess because we're not committing crimes well and being noticed in the act. So it's uh, hard for anybody to, uh... oh my gosh, Giuliani Cosmetics. These things keep changing names, I feel like, whenever I come back. But Giuliani Cosmetics, we have to go to the Giuliani Cosmetics. Oh, there's nothing really there, though. Why don't we go downtown to the police station? It's still under high security. So I guess let's go to the courthouse. Just gonna be a bunch of ninjas at the courthouse doing court ninja stuff.
All right, now let's smash some cases. Just to get people really cheesed. Okay, people are anxious, and we have now maxed out our stealth skill. But there is still stuff to be gotten. Judges corrupt evidence. Like getting stuff like that. Alright, keep fading into those shadows. These people try to fade me. C -c -c call me on my cell phone. Oh, what was inside? There was a laptop inside that case. Anything else in here? No. Pick more locks. That lock too. Just continue our loot getting. This is a very slow way to get through the game, but in terms of actual like hours played in terms of uh, actual like game days I feel like this is actually a pretty fast way to uh, get things done. Hey, or Bailey's still working to repair that body armor LCS strikes they took the other events took place at the notorious courthouse site of numerous conservative injustices. The liberal crime squad liberated enemy resources, damaged enemy infrastructure, and picked locks Green McCloud has a teaching skill of five, which is not bad. Might be worthwhile to have her teach teach stealth to everyone else, although most everybody else already knows it because I take them out to train them. Um, Camille obviously doesn't know any anything about the art of stealth yet. She could know as much as 10. How's that seduction going? Now it's up to 40. Well, okay. Sounds right. We're slowly but surely learning rifle. Very slowly as it happens. Are you getting any good at teaching? 1.39. So, not really. Okay. I'm surprised that this black belt has a one in dodge. You would think sort of in the world of martial arts you would need to know how to avoid the uh, strikes of your opponent. But, well, what are you going to do?
thinking of making Ruth Ann and Brian just lay low, raise some money maybe legally, uh, or even just, let's see, which of them has a better computer skill? I bet neither of them have any good computer skill. Yes, they both literally have a computer skill of zero. Brian would be slightly better at learning how to use a computer, probably, because he has a max ability of 11. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate these liberals. Uh, Irene, teach, stealth. Teach all that stuff. Brian, I would like to know about let's see, liberal activism. Take a look at opinion polls. Thank you. And then Ruth Ann. You have so much that you could try and do. Your persuasion is a four, so I would like to get you even more persuasive. So let's do some legal fundraising and solicit donations. Yeah! And Ruth Ann, in order to be extra good at this, let's give you. Hmm. Do we have a nice dress or do we only have cheap dresses? We have a second rate expensive dress. I wonder if that would work better or worse than a cheap suit or a cheap dress. R2! Okay, there we go. Now then. Hugar Bailey repairs his body armor. Recent opinion polls. 100% of people oppose the death penalty. 64% were critical of the police. 95% abhor gener genetically altered food. 54% still have a favorable opinion of President Ed Bezos. However, let's see. 48% nobody holds the liberal crime squad in high regard. Not that many people hold the conservative crime squad in contempt. So, Things are changing, but we're doing such a good do job of doing it. Uh, yeah, being human is complicated. We're doing such a good job of doing this on the down low. I feel like nobody even knows that we're doing it. Keep discussing that. Um, Hagar. You now have a perfectly fine set of body armor on, so let's have you put on this damage set so that you can work on repairing that. Chat, discuss them politics. Hagger Bailey cleans the kitchen. Darn it. Wait a while longer. Let's take a look at how good he actually is at making stuff. Your tailoring skill is an 8.7, so you do have pretty good tailoring skill. You have no juice. You don't have very much agility. You have great charisma. I should honestly just have you go out in your own little squad, just bluff everybody whenever uh, they think you shouldn't be there. Once you get, you know, persuasion skill. 
which I'm presuming that you will. I mean, he's getting this high security from uh, from just being around. He knows how to use that. The liberal lie squad. Okay, so you have a good tailoring skill. What equipment do I have? A second rate body armor. A second rate damaged black dress. Second rate damaged expensive dress. A damaged lab coat. Get the lab coat fixed, I guess. Well, let's see something here. Uh, right now you're repairing clothing. What can you make? It will be nearly impossible for you to make an expensive dress or suit. I believe in you, but apparently you don't. Local channels don't appear to be working. No fridge and the local channels don't appear to be working. Boo, what kind of operation is this? See folks, when you come to a uh, nice chill Boba the Vulture stream you get stuff like this you also get the fact that uh, I will also be uh, just just also having a text conversation with my wife because uh, she's my wife Compared the lab coat. Good, good, good. It is the chillest of vulture streams. Now then, Hagger, let's put some other clothing on you that's damaged. Here, wear this black dress. It's damaged. There we go. CCS Rampage. They went to the abortion clinic. Hey. Don't do that. Activate liberals. Hack Bailey. What are you equipped with right now? Do we have any more damaged clothing? We have a second rate expensive dress. It won't work very well as a disguise, but I bet we could. Uh... No one is in favor. Suddenly things turned. Just because they're not constantly out there, that is what is happening apparently. Hagger Bailey repairs what little can be fixed of his clothes. Okay. What do you have now?
Okay, let's find something else. Too bad he can't upgrade things that are second rate to make them first rate. Here, put on these bloody damaged clothes. Let's continue activating. Let's see. Those clothes are now second rate. You did also clean the blood off them while you were repairing them. That's good thinking, Hagger Bailey. Hey! Medius. We got a stream with some not very much going on. We're just sort of being very calm in the face of everything that's going on in the world. Not necessarily biding our time because I am taking each individual day as like a turn. There's no just sitting down, pressing, pressing, holding the W key until the month rolls around. Lori Delaney is wanted for murder, so be aware. going to CK2. Well, yeah, uh, thanks. I, It's not a complete return to uh, channel and return to form. Um, although, you know, hope springs eternal that uh, I will actually be able to get into a position where I can do the stuff I want to again. Mona is wanted for vandalism, although she clearly has done more than that, but uh, don't tell anybody. Shh. Big secret. Persuasion skill is getting up there, too. Because you have the scheduled meeting that keeps happening. You are wanted for theft. That's cute. Gaining all of these little bits and pieces of things, it's good. Oh, and you are slowly but surely learning security and seduction. Oh my, unless you already have that. It's possible you already have that. You are learning the tiniest inklings of disguise rifle law interesting I guess everybody is learning law because yeah Lori Delaney is teaching politics because she has persuasion so she's teaching everybody to be persuasive and going with that is a little bit of her law experience also she's wanted for murder but don't tell anybody Shush. Oh, that flamingo is gonna get back, or is it two? No, it's a flamingo. It's pink. It's gonna get back to me, and it's old, old school Selly, the giant antenna. That's good to know. Also, I like that he dressed up for the occasion. How many people have you killed? How many people have you killed? One, two. Three. Okay, three. Anybody else been convicted of anything other than theft or vandalism? Nope. Just Lori Delaney. 
That's fine. That's okay. All right, I don't think there's any other um, stuff for Hagger to repair. So, why don't you sell liberal t shirts? That'll increase your uh, your tailoring skill, won't it? Yeah. No, they took they they went to the public radio station. MPS is actually good stuff. Minnesota Public uh, or MPR, MPR, Minnesota Public Radio, actually good stuff. I, uh, you know, beans from around there, and uh, actually, coincidentally, the mug I have my tea in it is now just a completely just red mug but uh, it used to have uh, it, it was an MPR mug. Hey Lethal you missed the uh, slowing it down portion of the stream. I don't know if you missed it actually it's probably going to continue on because uh, we are not engaging in a uh, whole lot of extra ninja raids lately since I got Irene McLeod up to a stealth level of 17. This is just going to be a teach-in and actually, let me make sure that uh, my theory was 8.86. Yeah, so we wait a turn. Eight point eight eight. Okay, yes. This is how to get his tailoring up. This is how to do. This is how we do it. Do 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 do. And, uh, Brian, how are you doing with computers now? Do you even have a point in computers at this point? Considering the category is not jumping out to my eyes, leads me to believe he does not. No, he does not even have a half a point. Now they're at the network news station. All right, what records do we want to send out here? We have secret documents. They could really blow the lid off some stuff, but uh, concerned that if we release those, they find out that we had them, then uh, that could be a big problem for us unless we're, we're ready. So I'm going to continue to bide my time. Let's do some judges corrupt evidence. The Liberal Guardian runs a story with evidence of a conservative judge promising conservative rulings in exchange for appointments. The major networks and publications take it up and run for weeks. Congress is acting on legislation. Protect workers' rights. Do it. Don't not do it. Alright, let's look at... Lona, what, how are you doing at Dodge? It's going to be a long time before you get great at dodge, isn't it? Sure is. Your persuasion skill is fantastic. I 
to get everybody somebody that they could just like string along. and Camille. She is the new person. She's learning seduction and persuasion coincidentally at about the same rate because she's being taught a little bit about seduction and she is... or no, she is... How did Ruth Anabarro end up being the one I thought Camille was going to go... Mm, honestly, at this point, she is better to learn seduction. And... Oh, You know what? Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine. CCS rampaging. I gotta figure out what to do about these CCSers. Who are my most seductive people? And it's not Crazy Punk Valerie Boyd. Pretty much, it is crazy punk Valerie Boyd. She's the most seductive person we've got going. Sad but true. All right, time to make a new squad. With Valerie Boyd. We're gonna call this squad Soft Power. Next squad, Valerie Boyd, go forth to stop evil. Let's equip you with a second rate black dress. Yeah. Tell you to go for it to stop evil. Go downtown to the Morning Wonder Latte Stand. Actually, why don't you go for it to stop evil? Downtown at the Snow Gentleman's Club. Sure, why not? What might happen? Bouncer says, is your squad. Where's your husband? Let's uh, talk to club security and drop a pickup line. My shoes want to fuck. Stop staring at my feet, you freak. Alright. Fine. Let's 
go to latte stand then. Tables occupied by a nurse and a telemarketer and a lab tech. There's a corporate manager. Let's talk to this hillbilly. Drop a pickup line on him. Those pants would look great in the floor of my bedroom. Not after I do this. Shit's pants. Well, okay then. Let's talk to this country boy. Drop a pickup line on him. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Yes, now go away. It occurs to me I'm probably going to start running into people that I really would have liked to... would have really liked to recruit now that I just have a seduction-y person here. I'm big where it counts. You're big everywhere, fight ass. <laughs> Let's talk to this country boy. Hey, country boy. Your daddy must have been a bigger because you got a nice set of buns. I don't do anal. Puts hands over butt. There you go. It's about more than just your uh, your seduction skill. It is also about your charisma, I guess. You tired? Cause you running around in my thoughts all day. I don't remember doing that. See, that army veteran would have been the perfect person. Hmm. Meeting a lot of army veterans that would be nice to uh, try and recruit to my cause for more, you know, more fun hanging out, you know, squad dudes, just in case any of my other squad dudes get killed. What do you say we go behind a rock and get a little bolder? I hate puns. You suck at comedy. Just because you hate puns does not mean that I suck at comedy. It just means that this is not the comedy for you. Those pants look great in the floor of my bedroom. <laughs> oh no, so many good old boys and country boys and rubes shitting their pants out here. We'll give one more good try here. Hey there, biker. Wanna play army? You lie down and I'll blow you away. Go back home and play with your G.I. Joe dolls. <laughs> Okay. I'm back home. I'm playing with my G.I. Joe dolls. See what's going on with the liberal agenda right now. Okay. Pretty middling on everything. You gotta do something about nuclear power.
Well, so it's official in that case. Uh, Valerie Boyd has no use. <sighs> Pardon me. Unless she gets a minor amount of juice. No use without the juice. That's what I'm trying to say. Brian, you have 250 juice. Roland Ollerenshaw, Ullern, you have a small amount of juice. Camille Keitel, you have a small amount of juice. You're really not doing anything yet. Valerie Boyd has negative juice. I feel like if the three of you all went out right now, you could do some of your classic breaking into places to build up baseline stats, while everyone else continued the skillathon. Valerie, Roland, and Camille. That's going to be the new formation of soft power. All right, you guys. Time for you to go to the university district. Now, Trudeau Apartments is still Trudeau Apartments. By the way, uh, I guess congratulations to uh, Trudeau. He uh, that's how we squeeze our juice, everybody. Your security skill is already up. Wouldn't do nothing. Man, your juice is down to negative four. It's amazing. Ah, Zerf, I'm being hosted. Thanks for the host, Zerf. Let's uh, just talk about some politics and pop music. We should uh, we should give these guys something here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Capitalize the letter to designate a driver. Let's make Camille drive this car. There you go. Now they will drive places. They're still just going to go to Trudeau Apartments. No, let's not try and pick a lock while somebody's right there. Don't mind us, engineer. Oh man. So much stuff. Pop music. Just saw a music video for a track you're on. Feel surreal. Talk about. <laughs> it's true, Zerf. The uh, coalition of these apartments uh, kind of crumbled a little bit. Come on, everybody, be cool. Uh-oh. 
There you go, get those opinion polls. Do it. You have positive juice now, look at you. Everybody else is slowly gaining small amounts of juice too. And you haven't been known to commit crimes yet. I'm proud of you. So proud. The juice. <laughs> Undetected crimes. They're the best kind to commit. Let's get in here, grab some jewelry, get back down. Or act natural. Everything's okay. And I don't ever expect that uh, Valerie Boyd is going to really go out there and do amazing things. She has an agility skill of two, so I'd be worried about her in any kind of combat situation. But uh, she's got a reasonable amount of charisma, and that allows her to disguise. No, what is disguise built off of? Yeah, it is the charisma skill. All right, it just went up because she's in the positives now. So there you go. Nimble as a lopsided watermelon, something like that. Hey, Ald. Everybody is uh, hopping off of... Uh... But he's hopping away from Dokapon land to uh, come say hi. I take it that Airy slash Wit is uh, still killing everyone pretty much constantly, as uh, as only she can. And when I say as only she can, I mean as only any of the computer characters who would be there or would be doing. No spoilers. Oh no. Could be at this point you've all decided to turn against each other and it's free for all. Oh, I'm going to have to watch the episodes? That was never in my plans. You guys are still not wanted for a darn thing. And yet you're getting so juicy. So juicy. What did I just say? That's my good graphics song. Are we ready to move up to the Williams condominiums? Maybe. Hmm, seems like no. Hmm. 
There's a magnum there. Holy gosh. Oh, they came in and swapped TVs. Service. 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 Yeah, but anybody know how the game's going? <laughs> Good graphics. I guess we could try and go pick some more locks that might bolster somebody's security skills. Okay. We've done enough here. I think. Nobody's about to level up, are they? Nah. Go to them condos again. That turned out okay after all. Ah, oh, Valerie, you couldn't get the lock open. I guess it happens. Let's not pick the lock in front of the guards. Guards! Seize them! Don't look at us suspiciously just because we're walking into this apartment where we don't live. I mean, you can Google. It's, it's a thing you can Google if you don't uh, have a strong care about it. Hey, thanks, phone. My phone. It sure does think I say, hey, Google, when I'm not saying it. No, no, I was not talking to you. <laughs> the matching video is uh, I'm Not Saying by Gordon Lightfoot. When I say Hazel, Sometimes it thinks I'm talking to it when I'm not. Keep on wondering why Roland Ronald Allershaw is uh, gaining so much more juice than I ever. No, he just started with more because he's seen some shit, man. Grab some stuff like one does. There we go. I apologize if I'm uh, being tiny bits on the quiet side. I really should not do that. Yeah, so Camille Keitel is as juiced up as she can be until, uh, you know, go out and do something else. I mean, I suppose I could put this group in a uh, bunch of lab coats or something.
I want to check something real quick too. It's been a few days now. Hagar, how good are you at tailoring? You're getting very near as good as you possibly can be about going and getting some juice. Maybe you should be out here getting juice with the rest of the kids. You have a charisma of nine. You would be pretty good at... Uh... You have an intelligence of ten and a charisma of nine, so you'd be pretty good at disguise and security. You just wouldn't be very fast. Hagar, if I made you make clothing now, is there anything that you would not... It would still be really hard for you to make an expensive dress, huh? Alright. Never mind. Keep making your t-shirts. Actually, hold on a second. There is something I want to yeah, review. Look at everybody. Everybody at this point has some small amount of points in rifle, but not a lot. Okay. Maybe what I need to do now is go to, I got everybody here, now why don't you all go downtown, well hang on a second, I'm sorry, I could be doing this a lot better, you can't recruit anyone, nobody can recruit anybody yet, you guys are not juiced up enough to be at that sort of vaunted uh, ability. So, never mind. I need to get you there before you can do anything real interesting. There you go. Now you're all in lab coats. Why don't you go... Do Rudy Giuliani Cosmetics. Yeah, I should go to the juice bar and just uh, get juice there. Keep acting natural, guys. That's what we're here to do. guys are still not wanted for anything. You will be wanted for vandalism. If I break anything in here, if I just steal stuff, they won't care unless uh, they see it. Oh, what the hell. Break them cages. How much juice does it get you? Not much, but you're all now wanted. Dead or alive.
Good job acting cool in the face of that eminent scientist, guys. Who works in the cosmetics company. Thanks for the lab equipment, fluffy bunnies. There we go. Now you guys are on your way. Look at how great you guys are doing now. Start with anybody and a few. Systematic. Oh, I mean, yes, they are wanted dead or alive. Extreme beach volleyball. That's okay. Keep acting natural. Find lab equipment. Unlock the cage. No, let's not free the fluffy animals in front of the janitor. Scruffy the janitor does not approve. Funny, nobody is uh, leveling up their. Uh, are you? not still level okay you are leveling up your security because wow Valerie Boyd is gonna get to a uh, hundred juice just from wandering around in here Roland Overshaw oh man these guys are just juicing it up really don't want me going through this door. Which, I mean, I guess I understand. I'm not supposed to be here. This is a real night of chaos for the uh, cosmetics lab. And a real learning experience for Valerie, Ronald, and Camille. Done great work out here today, Camille. Well done. Well done indeed. Elsia strikes at notorious Giuliani Cosmetics, a conservative animal rights abuser, and, you know, uh, secret negotiator with ties to Ukraine. Liberal Crime Squad liberated enemy resources, liberated abused animals, and liberated locks from being unpicked. Then, San Antonio, Texas. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. So proud of you guys. Look at how much cooler you are now than you were a little while ago. Just from 22 counts of vandalism, that's all. Oil-based cosmetics, oh no. You guys can recruit three, recruit one. Seductions are still not amazing, but uh, there's something. Persuasions aren't bad.
All right, I'm actually now going to have you go to the Morning Wonder Latte stand. Now that you guys have more charisma and uh, maybe a little bit more. I'm just a teenager sitting at that table. Non-union worker. Car salesperson, eh? I'm okay, thanks. A country boy. Who's got the best dating? Valerie has the best dating, and it is at an eight now. Talk to this country boy. Drop a pickup line on him. If you were a phaser, you'd be set on stunning. Hey, look, a UFO! And a rube. Hey, Valerie. Give this another shot. Talk to this rube. Drop a pickup line on him. Excuse me, do you want to fuck or should I apologize? Too late for apologies. Slaps us. Well, shoot. And a hick. All right, talk to this hick. Do you work at the post office? I could have sworn you're checking out my package. Yes, and it's practically microscopic. <laughs> Ass cheeks clenching. That is that is a thing for them. They get very concerned about uh, the possibility that something could happen to their hinders. I mean, I guess I understand that if it's not something they were consenting to. I mean. Don't get overly sensitive about it, though. Alright, Valerie, talk to this hick. Try to pick up one arm. Is it hot in here, or is it just you? I'm way out of your league, scumbag. Grab the pepper spray. Charisma of 9, charisma of 9, charisma of 10. Is your seduction just much lower? Okay, it is a couple points lower. Oh, that was a dancer we could have. Oh, that was a biker. It was a dancer that we could have uh, attempted to sort of talk into working with us, and a uh, biker that we could have tried to huh. <sighs> Hey there, Mr. Biker. Roses are red, violets are blue, all my base are belong to you. Let's try this one more time. Although maybe maybe we'll give Camille the, the 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 shot this time. Camille, talk to this country boy. I know I've seen you on the back of a milk cart. You've been missing for my life. That was a very traumatic incident. Fine, you guys are not. Not good enough at any of this yet. Let's review what the squad is looking like right now. Lona, how are you doing at dodge? You have almost a six in dodge. It's going to take four F or Oh, like even Hagger Bailey at this point is like 
the master of disguise and security and is getting to be as good as he possibly could be in the term in terms of stealth just by virtue of just being around here and listening to all these people talk about all this stuff Roland, how? Okay, you still need to learn the the key the key bits and pieces, and so do you, Camille. But once we have you two, we'll have a full squad again of pretty touted up people. We still don't have the weapon skills that I'd like or the dodge that I'd like. But maybe it would be time to try and start doing some things. But let's go ahead and get you guys as sort of touted up as we can. So three of you, why don't you go into the university? Oh, the cosmetic shop is closed down now. Hmm, that's that's terrible. That's terrible. Do we have any security uniforms? Just army uniforms and body armor. Cheap dresses. Well, here. Valerie, Camille, put on cheap dresses. Ronald, put on a cheap suit. Top management is arrested at the airport. Well,. Go to the M radio station. You guys did it. That's it. Just keep acting natural. You're not doing anything wrong here, guys. We're not doing anything, guys. We're just hanging out. Hanging out. Hanging out with families. Having ourselves a party. Hey, we're just hanging out. Hanging out. Hanging out with a family. At the AM radio station. Just hanging out. That's all we do. Just here to collect up everything that's lying around. I just found this lying around, you know. Thought you might like it. I don't even remember the line, and I don't even remember the name of the character. It was just, there was a line in Bullet Witch where the, like, just sort of generic soldier leader guy, um, basically just said that he found some like ancient relic of yours or something like that just lying around of course this is also the guy who introduced you by saying hey so you're the one with the demonic it's nice to meet you or you're the girl with the demonic that was it bullet witch everybody you go watch um you go watch uh mysterious JG's playthrough that thing yeah or you go find it yourself I can't imagine it costs very much money that sounds harsh I don't mean to uh... all 
All right, you guys are busting your way up. Brian, are you getting any good at using computers? You have a computer skill of one now. Probably should just make you take computer science or something, huh? I mean, we have a lot of, uh, it is a lot of jack to make him go take those classes, you're right. To be liberal, yeah, just to, just to avoid the gathering opinion info, I could just have him go learn in the university district. Just learn computer science. It was Brian I wanted to do that. Learn in the University District. Computer Science. Shit. What was Ruth Ann doing? She was teaching. Was she teaching? That's right, she was, for some reason, she was soliciting donations. I mean, I guess it's good that, here, I'm, I know I have to figure out what she needs to do now, but let's see what her sort of bio is right now. She has a persuasion score of six. Which is not the most persuasive persuasion skill we have. You know, nobody's actually writing for the Liberal Guardian now, because I took the two people that were writing for the Liberal Guardian and had them start doing other stuff. So, you know what, Ruthann, why don't you write for the Liberal Guardian, since I seem to be messing up stuff right now as far as whatever it is that you're doing. Ruthie, Liberal Activism, write for the Liberal Guardian. You have a high intelligence skill, you should be good at doing that. Well, wait, Larissa Montana's already doing it. <sighs> Ruthann, Ruthann, what am I going to do? I'm not going to have you sell paintings. That's silly. If nothing else, solicit donations so that you can get right now. You guys, go forth. The AM radio station is now under high security. I 
think you could still do it. Why don't you go to the outskirts then? Corporate HQ? The corporate HQ is still under high security. Well, that's quite a thing, isn't it? Go to the courthouse. There's a lot to be done here if you can get in. If you can't get in, it's a quick escape. Valerie Boyd is good at unlocking these doors anyways. So that's fantastic. Smash these display cases. You're already wanted for vandalism. Be wanted for more vandalism. Don't worry about us, officers. Those cases were smashed when we got here. Let's grab this laptop. Grab these smartphones, things. Smell panic. Well, that's okay. Panic is... Panic is natural. Judges corrupt evidence. Let's act natural in front of this case that uh, just got smashed right next to those people. They don't know about it. It's perfectly fine. Like in theory, we're in the same room as this jury. They just watch us walk in, smash a case, and steal a couple of things out of the corner and just wander out. It's like, oh, well, that's the legal system for you, right? guys are juicing up, which is good because I want you guys juiced. How much more gear is there up here? Well, there is a little bit more gear up there. Let's grab this tablet. Because they don't have like superhuman stats yet, they just have really high stats. So, you know, in theory, trying these doors and if they're wired to an alarm and things go poorly, then the alarm goes off and we're very far into this whole. Uh, Hall of Ultimate Justice at this point, and uh, it would just be bad. Here we go. Nice Inski Outski. So, yeah, you guys are on your way. So that's good. John Richardson is still ready to fight for that liberal cause. Keep trying. One of these days. Lona is getting super persuasive just by talking to this guy over and over and over. 
Ruthann is going to get persuasive by just trying to tell people about how great the Liberal Crime Squad is. Fight for freedom wherever there's trouble over land, sea, and air. A judge will dare. I didn't think you were going to be uh, a, a a huge asset, Valerie Boyd, but um, you know you get you get a person enough juice, you can do it with avoiding combat. So the fact that you have, well, you had a terrible, terrible agility stat. Now you just have a bad agility stat. I mean, you know, lines you up next to people with. Now we have 15 agility, so uh, there's that. All charismatic in here, though. Valerie's charisma, which was sort of average, now through the roof, baby. Now I would be totally happy just having her go learn to, you know, buy drinks. But if we're so close, we 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 get her to 200 juice, and she would have even more charisma to uh, max out. Well, courthouses at high security now too, eh? Well, fine. You know what? We could still go because uh, what are they gonna do, huh? They're gonna just not have court anymore. Also, security is high. You mean there's going to be a lot of guards and police at the courthouse? Here for what remains of sleeping baby happy fun times. Well, that's good. You're never going to guess what we're doing. We're building up people by uh, wandering around through the courthouse. <laughs> you are no longer here for what remains of Sleeping Baby Happy Fun Times. Never could have figured that one out. Um, in your uh, trials and travails with this game, have you been to the army base? I imagine it changes different versions, so who knows what it's like now as compared to what it used to be, but... Uh, that was the highlight of the previous stream. I have not been back since the army base was at high security, which, oh no, I guess that means there might be more soldiers around. I think once I get these guys, uh, let's try the door anyway. We unlocked it. Good, good, good. All right, there's no need to do anything else here. Let's just head on our way. Let me make sure. Yeah, I can't get much more juice for you guys. And you've boosted all the skills that you would be able to get there, so let's let's just deal with it. You'll see a strikes.
try and earn 50 more juice to get Valerie Boyd up to another level. She's never going to be a squad member just because her agility. I mean, it was initially 2, so the fact that she's up to 5 now is nothing short of miraculous, but it's also nothing short of not good. Got an agility of 15 for these other two, so that's just peach keen. Plus, they're still slowly but surely learning stealth. I know. Wow. Five. So, let's see here. Equipment. Why don't you all just put clothes back on? And then take a look at the squad. All of our active liberals. Lori taking the place of Pierre Schulz. <laughs> She's on the DDP yoga, that's pretty yeah. We took the uh place of our leader, Pierre Schulz. The only person here to have taken a life or even assaulted anybody. But uh, it would probably be Lori, Ilona, Irene, Ruth Ann, Brian, and I guess either Ronald or Camille. Or I might just leave uh might just leave Lori out of it because uh she's done enough. Actually, how is your Nope, you have still not maxed out your tailoring skill, Hagger. Well, okay. I mean, it's a crime squad. It's not a murder squad. Let's, uh... Let's dismantle soft power for the time being and reform the Pierre Schulz Memorial Squad. Uh-oh. CrimeSquad.exe has stopped working. <laughs> yes, Grimith, they're at uh, McCain Fried Chicken. Gee. I sure have been at this for a while. <sighs> let's uh let's open up the game and see what we've got. Turn off that damn music, that's for sure. That music is poison to the game. Political party tried to establish Social Security, unemployment insurance, labor laws, and farm programs. You'd not hear of them again. A tiny splinter group thinks they could do it. Their number is negligible, and they are stupid. Cool. There's a uh, there's the reason everybody likes Ike so much. Clearly, let's look at violence tempered. Everybody was going to the courthouse. If soft power even exists, then that means that yes, this auto save was not very far back. As a matter of fact, it was just before that last outing.
Let's cancel the squad's departure. Now let's review assets. Okay, so yes, we can do that. Let's take Nolan Overshaw, Camille Keitel, and add Alona on. Now we've got a good now we've got a good group. She's in her ninja costume because they were learning stealth. So let's equip these people somewhat differently. Hey. Mm, just for funsies and because. Well, that empty 9mm semi is not going to do very much good for you. Either is that. Um, increase or decrease ammo allocation. Damn it. I'm not doing this very well. It's up, then six. Okay, cool. Also, maybe you should all get in the same transportation. There you go. Just lost a day. Let's, uh,. There you go. Six people are going to pull up, all wearing army body armor, to the army base in a stolen police cruiser. In a stolen police cruiser, it's like 15 years old. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. This will be fine. Now the intelligence HQ. I have not been to the intelligence HQ. A little scary. But, uh, yeah. Like how we open the door from the outside into the other outside. How are you doing, fellow military people? Just came to pick up the secret documents. And the kitschy trinkets that are so essential to the running of this fighting force. Sir, yes sir. Please be cool. Uh oh. But you fuck ups is fucking up. There's an M16. There you go. Get back to acting naturally. Everything will be okay. Some second rate body armor. They leave M16s in the ground. Also, 
the army keeps getting second rate body armor. Hmm, there's a loaded M4. I like that. We're okay. We're okay, officer. Nothing is wrong. Why would you think that anything would be wrong? Nice thing is that there is enough loot here that uh, anybody who can still level up from that kind of shenanigan, yeah, is getting it. So good. And they'll be on their way. Now we're not in very stealthy clothes, otherwise maybe we should have just come in here in ninja costumes. Faded into the shadows at every turn. Actually, I wonder if a Navy SEAL uniform has a good enough stealth factor to be able to be used in that same way. Because I imagine you're not really hiding in a corner covered in heavy body armor, like army body armor. You are right, Toll Panzer. It was a deadened hall. I have to know what's in every nook and cranny, otherwise I might miss guns. Free guns. Free. Yeah, maybe if I just tried harder at being stealthy in army body armor, it would go better. Hi, armory. Bye, armory. Divided into free. Nice try, soldiers. You thought that you could catch me unawares just stealing in your presence. You dare steal my presence? You dare to die. Let's not pick the lock while the soldiers are there. Hey guys. Are you guys also trying to get in this door? You're waiting for somebody to come unlock it? I got news for you. I can. I'm not going to do it for you. Oh, yeah, no, let's not force the doors open either. We're cool, military police. We're totes cool. Some damaged body armor. Get our top men to repair it so that uh, we'll have all the body armor in the world. More damaged body armor. The army really has to do something about the sourcing of its body armor. If they keep having this much damaged armor. Top men. Now the whole reason everybody wants to watch these streams is they're just waiting for the moment when I pick a lock or steal something while somebody is standing there. Didn't feel right to leave that door just standing there. Only a matter of time and key presses. Not that many seconds or presses. It's perfectly fine. 
Well, aside from that one door, which decided it was going to be tricky, and the armory, everything just went just fine. Not going to let you join as a full member. Sorry. Good raid. You've all done very well. The army base is now high security. Well, fine. What if we went to intelligence headquarters? Yeah, army body armor is not the thing to have in there. Well, okay. Just good to know. Just good to know. I'm not mad. You know, let's equip this squad with some... Not mad, I'm big boned. That's it. Ruth Ann, Irene, you get cheap s dresses. The rest of you get cheap suits. Let's go forth downtown. The AM radio station is still in high security. Well, fine. And the corporate HQ is still on high security. Will my cheap suit suffice at the intelligence HQ? There's more than one way to find out, but the fast way would be to waste a day going. Sure isn't. Ah, barking. Sure, keep 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 talking. Okay. You know, I'll go to the AM radio station anyways. Why not? Let's pick this lock. Let's get in here. I remember correctly. Yeah. Mike is not too far here. Oh, damn it. I alienated the masses. Let's sneak to the A. Oh, security guard is also alienating the masses. Fine. I guess at this point, radio broadcasters left the equipment on in their rush to get out. So let's take over the studio. I was going to do that part anyway. I guess I alerted them slightly early and alienated the masses. So that's unfortunate. Squad takes control of the microphone and talks about free speech. It was thought-provoking, even humorous. Moderates at the station appreciated the show. They no longer feel alienated. All right. The show is so good that security listened to it at their desks. The squad might yet escape. Look at that. Yoink. It's nice that I have nice, charismatic people. Didn't know a successful broadcast show could unalienate folks. Just thought it'd make the situation worse. Yeah, I mean, I didn't intend to experiment with that right there, but 
kind of how it turned out, I guess. Tempted to go back in there, just do it again. It's a good layout for uh, for just running in and running out. Vandalism, mostly disturbing the peace, though. Some of you have stolen things. It's okay. Let's interrupt this evening's programming and talk about the tax code. It was the best hour of AM radio ever. The show was so good that security listened to it at their desks. Make a break for it! Hmm. I mean, I could talk my way out of this situation, or I could kill these security guards. I'm not trying a bloodless run here exactly, but I don't feel as though these security guards have actually done anything to, uh, to really raise my ire. They're just doing their jobs. They're cogs in the machine, you know. Getting mad at them doesn't seem like it's... I mean, it would get them juice. It would get them juice. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few cups. All right, guys. Irene, what the hell? All this goodwill that we just garnered with the best hour of AM radio ever. It's engineer's body. Oh shit, and he just one shot died. They were uh not particularly well Oh, okay, so that secretary person did not seem to really care. LCS hits AM. <laughs> Thankfully, we write the Liberal Guardian, and uh, they're not going to mention the fact that we just killed... Uh, <laughs> yeah, nobody was there to report the outcome. Um, yeah, nobody noticed. The conservative crime squad has gone on another rampage. Searching for sex. NDGBM ISO. Swiss with Guam. Sure. Right, so your disguise is as good as a composite would be. So is yours. What you guys need to build up now is your stealth skills. So, yeah, that means it's time for time for ninja attire. Keep moving. Now 
There we go. Now let's go forward to Stop Evil. Downtown. I don't know if the AM radio station is in uh, a bad spot. Well, let's go to the cable news station. Oh, shoot. Somebody got injured. How badly are we injured? Oh, we're totally fine. Okay. Must have just been a bruise. Oh, we didn't do anything. We're ninjas. We have... St okay, Camille, you don't have any stuff. Hey, congratulations. You earned yourself some stealth. You still need to do that one more time. Okay, I didn't work. I forgot that you hadn't gotten completely ninja'd up yet. <sighs> Sigh. Alright, let's go someplace less consequential then, like uh, the garment makers. Pick the lock. Sneak on in. 218. Okay, so we don't even get juice from that anymore, but uh, it's okay. Run free, guys. Destroy this equipment. It's all laying around. It's a, it's a hazard. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, guys. Bye. You didn't learn anything, did you? No, you didn't learn anything. LCS strikes the notorious Stuart Garment Makers. Liberated enemy resources. Really? We're calling these people enemy resources? Are we really going to have to do the running around in condo stuff again? It's a section of the UI where they're tracked and stored. Why is everybody suspicious of this group of six ninjas? We just acted natural, like we're supposed to be here, it's fine. That's more like it. Oh no, we trespassed. Forgive us our trespasses. Oh, Panzer, I'm fine shooting people. They just need to be the right people. world's most hesitant ninjas. 
Oh, thank you for keeping those memos right outside. Tell you, Alana's going to be so very good at uh, persuasion. Maybe I should see how she's doing with that. Yeah, your persuasion is nine. And you're wanted for murder. That's right, you guys are all wanted for murder now. I guess now I have more people who are wanted for murder. Sorry, Lori, Lori Delaney, you're no longer extra special. Oh, wait, uh, yeah. Hagger, no, you're still learning something about tailoring. Yeah, we just make a beeline over here, it doesn't even matter. Group of six ninjas takes control of the microphone and talks about cable news. Of course, this is the radio station, so uh, we're just telling everybody, hey guys, we're totally in ninja costumes. <laughs> this is the best. Well, this does remind me, if these are the uh, people I plan on using as my sort of going out causing trouble squad, I uh, should equip everybody else. Just, just in case anything happens. With... Uh, With some assault rifles. Oh, Valerie's no longer in the group. She should be learning something. Now that you have a charisma of 11, I would like you to actually go into the university district and buy drinks get more persuasive, get more seductive. Lori, let's also get you an M16. Hagger, my man. Let us also equip you with an M16. And Larissa, you also get an M16. I guess I don't have any more loaded M16s, so... Uh, eh, what does it matter? You have an AR-15. It'll be fine. You'll learn rifle if anybody decides to start giving us trouble.
Hmm. Take over the studio anyways. Talk about the tax code. We might escape. Despite my multiple attempts to get that thing. Alright guys. Do not shoot the engineer this time, okay? Don't do it. Yeah, if I had smoke bombs, that would help. Okay, some of you guys really don't know how to use a pistol, including Camille. Like, literally at all. It's probably hazardous for you to even be holding it. This is the only way you'll learn. Alright, grab that loot. Ninjas with handguns. That is the way. LCS hits AM. LCS hits AM. It hates. Alright. And then something else happens in Cedar Rapids. I'm going to go in the industrial district and go to the crack house. Yeah. Squad is acting natural around these folks. Hey, there are locked doors in here, just not very many. I mean, I was hoping to just find a gang member or two on their own. Oh, that was a biker. I wonder whether or not. Oh, there we go. Let's fight these guys. Crime on crime action. It's crime time. Let's go to the crack house some more. Let's see. Who has the best dating stats? I mean, everybody's kind of tied for the best, I guess. Irene, give it a shot. Talk to this good old boy. Drop the pickup line on him. Let's play trains. You can sit on my face and I'll chew, chew, chew. You look like a biter. Uh, Ruth Ann? Ah, oh, you can't talk to them. I can't have everybody go through and offer their own. Well, there's just a soldier hanging out there. Grab the loot. Get out. The Herald. Justice dead. An innocent citizen has been put to death in the electric chair. 
Kelsey Megan Zachary was pronounced dead at 6 1 p.m. yesterday at the Colter Correctional Facility. Zachary was convicted in 1999 of 13 serial murders. Since then, numerous pieces of exculpatory evidence have been produced, including a battery of negative DNA tests. The state still went through with the execution, with a spokesperson for the governor saying, Let's not forget the con convict is colored. You know how their kind are. Candlelight vigils were held throughout the country last night during the execution, and more events are expected this evening. If there's a bright side to be found from this tragedy, it will be that our nation is now evaluating the ease with which people can be put to death in this country. There you go, that's something. We certainly are gaining a lot more murder convictions, aren't we? All right. I, my throat is starting to uh, give on me, but I was wanting to... Uh, there you go. You learned something about stealth. Congratulations, guys. How did Lona get to the bottom? Well, whatever. Fight these guys. Grab their loot. Bobo the silver lining. That's right. I'm trying to remember, is it that you have to cause trouble a number of times in a row at the crack house before you can take it over? Or is it that you have to cause enough trouble in one go at the uh, crack house in order to get... Uh, Um, I guess once I find out that the police are on their way, I'll leave. Well, shoot. Let's run. Oh man, that transient. We alienated him. And then his dying words, after having lived his life as an elite liberal, were better dead than liberal. Oh, there you go. It's a safe house. And it has a tremendous amount of heat on it now. I should probably stop murdering people for a while. Let's see. Well, you know what? Why don't I go ahead and uh, 
pawn some stuff so I can get some money back. We'll end the month of March, and then that'll be a not bad place to be. Let's sell some things. Can't sell damaged goods. Here, take all of my second rate body armor. And uh, this syringe I'm never going to use. Second rate black dress doesn't seem like a great idea. I don't need second rate clothes. Really wish I had a better expensive dress than that, but what are you gonna do? Right, so cheap jewelry, sell it. Fine jewelry, sell that. Trinkets, sell all the trinkets. Sell the lab equipment. Sell the 42 laptops we've got lying around. The 12 microphones. Sets of silverware. Forty-eight smartphones. Forty tablets. Eight watches. Eighteen weird chemicals. I am curious as to how much you can sell secret documents for and whether or not there is any in-game penalty for doing so. Because that seems like something that even the least scrupulous pawnbroker might still report to the authorities. <laughs> And if they wouldn't, it should certainly be worth a lot of money. Pawnbroker knows how to fence just about everything under the stars. Let's see, 14,750. Let's sell one secret document. Twenty five hundred bucks. Forget it. I'm keeping my secret document. You You have some research papers. Whatever. Porto the Vulture. Sure. I mean, I have 30 grand. I mean, at the rate that I'm going, I won't have enough money to buy a perfectly legal anti air cannon uh, to uh, fly over my base. But uh, aside from that, everything should be just fine. There you go, buy 12 assault rifle mags just to have them around. And get out of here. And the 31st. First of all, let me take a look. Yeah, we still got a little bit of heat here, so maybe we should 
Remain calm. 13%. Not do anything wacky for a little bit. Wacky the tabakis. You're teaching politics. Irene, you're wanted for murder, but uh, you sure do know a little bit about stealth. Oh, actually, uh, how much about seduction have you learned? So very little. You only got started, I guess. Now, let's, let's teach everybody about stealth, huh? Yeah. You need to teach them kids. All about stealthiness. Oh, and who is learning dodge? I think it might have been you, Ilona. Who has the best dodge? Things I should be learning. Okay, Alona does have the best dodge. So with a dodge of 5.8, maybe I should just have her start teaching everybody to dodge. And the rest of you... Go solicit donations. Yeah. Solicit donations. Get yourselves more charming. And bring in a small amount of money. Liberal chicken. Alright, so Ruth Ann, Brian, Ronald, and Camille. So you guys could probably use something better to wear. Like black leather. I don't even know what black leather is supposed to be specifically. Like, it's a black leather jacket. Cheap suits. Oh, there they are. There you go. You guys be out there in suits. Let's do them AM radio files. Liberal Guardian runs a story featuring AM radio plans planning to drum up a false scandal about a liberal figure. It's bound to get the conservative masses a little riled up. These aren't going anywhere, are they? Oh my gosh, they are! Well, okay. Income inequality is. Um, now that's a veto-proof majority in the Senate. Yay! We accomplished something, everyone. April Fools. Oh no, the heat's only getting hotter at McCain Fried Chicken. Shh. 
guys. What can we do? Just fry some chicken, everybody. It'll be okay. Get ducked on, President. All right. I think with that, I am going to go ahead and call it for a session. We are coming right up on three hours, so hopefully people will be satisfied with that length of a video. Uh, I certainly don't have very much more in my throat. Uh, not feeling super, super well. Um, thanks, Grimoth. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by, of course. And, you know... Whenever I get a chance to do this again, um, if it's very good news, uh, you will see an exciting Castlevania-related stream. If uh, it's less good news, you will probably see more Liberal Crime Squad, which may also be exciting, depending. Uh, yeah, so bear all that in mind. It's all secret signaling. Anyhow, folks, take care, and... Uh, Good night to YouTube and stream. I believe I'm going with everything all at once. Actually, let me just say bye to YouTube first.